next guest takes on Holly Salazar at Invicta FC 31 coming up here September 1st. It is Audrey Wolf joining me here on the program for the very first time. Audrey, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much for asking. And I understand, well, I'd imagine we're at uh, live on location at the gym right now. You absolutely are. Just finished training, showered real quick, and <laughs> now you get to see the gym. Oh, well, I, I appreciate it. I, I like always like the live on location interviews. Uh, how was training today? It was good. It was good. Okay, that's great. Um, how would you get involved in combat sports? Let's go all the way back to the beginning. How did, uh, how did, how did you get into this uh, crazy sport? Um, I actually begged my parents to do martial arts starting when I was three years old. And um, my mom finally, when I was seven, caved. My mom took a self-defense class with my godmother and some of her girlfriends. And uh, they were took it from Guy Mesger, who's an early UFC champion. And I went and tagged along and he had a kids martial arts class and I was like, oh my gosh, can I take from him? Can I take from him? And finally my mom caved. I think she thought I'd be over it by now, but bad news is I've just gotten a little further into it. Yeah, no. And, and obviously you've done well for yourself. Um, wh what do you do uh, besides uh, like, like as far as your MMA career, like what pays the bills for you right now uh, as far as um, outside of MMA? I actually work at the gym full time. So oh, um, awesome. I, okay. I'm still with Guy Mesger, been with him, I don't know, 20 Two, no, gosh, a little bit, 24 years now. <laughs> um, so I manage the gym. I teach the kids' classes. I do private lessons, and I am up here full-time. That's awesome. It's so much easier doing that than, like, having, like, an office job. Like, you don't have to do, like, the Clark Kent thing, you know, where you have to get changed and go to the gym and all that stuff. It must make things a lot easier because you can kind of work your work schedule around your training schedule, right? Yes and no. I mean, I, I, I will say, though, because I do train at the gym and I am the manager of the gym and I do everything here, it's kind of hard to get an uninterrupted workout. Uh, <laughs> people think you're here and that means that you're here to help them and when sometimes you need to be a little bit selfish with your time and, uh, you know, be getting ready for something. But all in all, it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm lucky, I know. Let's talk about your pro debut. You get that uh, unanimous decision over Roxanne Caesar at XKO39. You must have been pretty happy with your performance getting that first pro win. I was. I was excited. I, um, I've been offered a lot of pro fights, and I've had a, a lot of fights fall through. Um, and I, I mean, the same in the amateur ranks. So I went undefeated in amateur, um, and this was, I mean, probably, I don't know, the 20th fight I'd agreed to. And to have it actually come to fruition and me be successful, I was very excited. Yeah. How Did you expect it to be this difficult getting opponents? No. No. <laughs> I had no idea. I, I mean, honestly, that's been the hardest thing for me is to get opponents and um, I've had a lot of people accept fights and then back out or uh, you know I, I would agree to a fight and then they say they couldn't find me an opponent and I did not know that was going to be that difficult. Okay well uh, you got this fight here for Invicta. How did this all come together with you signing with Invicta? Um, I'm a huge fan of Invicta. I've watched them for years. Again I've been involved in martial arts for a long time so as soon as they started doing fights I was watching uh, and I actually, I went to do the Ultimate Fighter tryouts. They did the tryouts for the featherweights for the women at 145. Um, and when I was there, I had on, you know, a team rash guard that says Drew on the back. And Caitlin Young came up to me and she was like, is your name first name Audrey, perhaps? And I was like, uh, yes, who, who are you? <laughs> and she was like, oh, I'm the matchmaker for Invicta. I've been watching you for a while. I was like, oh my gosh, really? <laughs> um, so I didn't end up getting in the house for the Ultimate Fighter, which I was disappointed for. But uh, then I did end up talking to Caitlin and got the um the contract with invicta so yeah I, I didn't even know that you tried out how was that whole experience getting to go through that and uh you know potentially make it onto the reality show it was really it was an awesome experience um they so i mean i flew down to vegas there was it was awesome to see again i have had such a hard time getting a fight and finding women in my weight class and i've you know moved down to fight roxy like i'd prefer to fight at 145 and i'm glad that i can do that for invicta but my pro debut is actually at 135 pounds um, just because it was the only opportunity I was going to have, I thought, to fight. And so to see so many other women that want to fight at the featherweight division, um, that have fought at the featherweight division, that are being successful at it, was awesome. Um, and I made it through, I guess, the first two rounds of cuts. And so uh, that means they kept us there for the week, you know, put us, like the, the tryouts themselves, I was kind of surprised in how uh, limited they were, I guess, and that they have you hit pads, they have you grapple a little bit. And then um, they did an interview the first day. And then the next day we came back for a longer interview um, once we made it through those cuts. And then they did, you know, the physicals, the MRIs and everything on all of us all week. Um, but it was honestly just to get to meet the women that are doing the same thing you are was worth it alone. It was such a cool experience. And the heavyweight guys too. So I, I can't wait for the season to start. I'll definitely be tuning in. 
Were you surprised, though, when they released the roster? A lot of the women that made the show were bantamweights. Uh, was that a little yep. bit surprising? I mean, I... Yeah, and it was disappointing, really. I I mean, as someone who has... I mean, I'm five foot nine. I, I'm tall, and I've... You know, I, I did successfully make 135 once. I did some catch weights at 140, but I don't want to have to fight that low, and it was really difficult for me to make that. And I was excited because I thought they were going to try to grow the featherweight division, but by, you know, they took on five bantamweights. I mean, I think that means pretty much once Cyborg's contract's over, they're going to try to do away with the featherweight division, which is, is disappointing for me, and I know it's disappointing for a lot of women. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see that unfolds. I, I guess they're trying to get her to fight Amanda Nunes next, but uh, hopefully not, because I was going to say the timing of you coming into this would be good if, uh, you know, maybe they can pick up some of the uh, featherweights in Invicta like yourself, uh, which uh, will, I guess, will to be continued. Um, let's talk about your opponent, though, Holly Salazar. Uh, how do you feel like you match up against her? Um, I think it's going to be an exciting fight. She uh, She's tough. She's a big, strong, tall girl. Uh, most of my point, opponents have been shorter than I am, so I'm excited to fight someone that's actually, you know, long like I am. Um, she, it looks... It appears that she likes to stand up and bang. I can stand up. I can go to the ground, too. I don't think she's got quite as strong of a ground game. Um, but I think it should be a fun fight. I'm confident on the ground. I'm confident standing up, too. Great. And um, who are some of your main training partners that are helping you get ready for this fight? I've got, um, we've got an awesome group here at Guy Musgers. I, you know, I work with a lot of the men just because it's what we have the most of. But I've got some good, strong, tall women, too. Um, Sierra Seaford's been training with us. She's actually, like, six foot and... She's got a um, fight coming up with XKO. Uh, she's a little bit heavier and bigger and stronger than I am, so it's good for me, I think, to have to do that. And then I've got um, Rita Hicks is another one of my good training partners. She's mainly got a boxing background, but is a blue belt in jiu-jitsu, has competed in boxing jiu-jitsu, not MMA, but certainly knows how to um, mix it up. And then uh, Crystal Tolentino is one of my top uh, jiu-jitsu partners that I train with all the time. And then a lot of our guys have been coming and working with me just because they are most of the ones that are going to be taller than me. So we're trying to kind of get ready for that. And how do you see this fight playing out on September 1st? It'll be a good one to watch. Um, it'll be a good one to watch. I hope everyone tunes in to see. Can't give away too much of the game plan, but it's going to be a fun one. Absolutely. And uh, you can check that out on UFC Fight Pass. It's Invicta FC 31. Uh, Audrey, it was uh, great getting the chance to talk to you. Just uh, remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. Uh, absolutely. I just started an athlete page. That's Audrey Wolf on Facebook. So please follow me on there. I don't like adding the strangers as friends. I'm crazy like <laughs> I hear that. you on that. I hear you on that. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I also have a uh, on Instagram. It's Audrey D. Wolf. A lot of people have been asking, is it Drew or Wolf? I just got married in, in April, so I'm used to Audrey Drew, but technically, legally, it is Audrey Wolf now. And um, Audrey D. Wolf. And then my sponsors, uh, Black Box Stocks is one of my top sponsors. I've got their shirt on today. Um, they are awesome. I, Team Hicks Pilates has been working with me a while. La has been working with me a while. Um, and then uh, thanks to my manager, KO Reps. And, of course, the best gym in the world, Guy Mesger's Combat Sports Club.